Hey guys, so today we're gonna do our first beer tasting. So you guys have been loving our cocktail videos, so we decided to branch out into different types of alcohol. So we're gonna do some beers today. Um, basically we got kind of two standard beers that you could probably find at your local liquor store or around the area because we wanted you know everybody to be able to try the things that we're trying at least at first before we get into some weird crazy styles but these two are a good, like very crafted beers right. so yeah they are better than your norm right. than this is not Budweiser or Bud Light no so. this, this will be your top shelf of beers right I mean there's we got Stone and Magic Hat breweries which both started out as very craft breweries St Stone just blew up and got huge and Magic Hat is not far behind. No, yeah. But they're readily available, so try them with us. I'm sure some of you guys have already tried them, so we're gonna taste two of our favorite beers today. With that, we're gonna try our first, which is Stone IPA. So I chose this beer, it's one of my favorites. As George said, it's, it's, I mean, Stone is very popular. They're from California. Um, we just figured we'll, we'll, we'll stay home for our first charts, right? So of the two of us, I guess you could say I'm the IPA drinker. George yeah. typically drinks more of the uh, Belgian beers, right? Right. If it was possibly brewed by monks and above <laughs> 7%, that's probably the beer that I'm going to be drinking. So with IPAs, usually it's the smell that gets me, first and foremost, dude. I smell it, and it's just, it's like inviting me. I mean, I have to drink it, dude. I mean, I'm not just, it kind of smells like weed to me. It can. You ever get that? Like, this smells like weed. Oh, this smells a lot <laughs> like weed. Yeah, dude. This is like... Like... Like, like... like smoke a bowl and this is it. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we know that what that smells like. No. No. But let's let's try it. Yeah, cheers. See that's a good beer. It is. So it's crisp. Right. There's no there's no like strong aftertaste. No. I mean it's it's a little it dries out your mouth a little bit. Yeah, I mean it's like it's it's like uh it's like it's, it's almost like a, like an orange pill. It's right. very citrusy. Right, right, right. Yeah. So IPAs have recently became popular, maybe like the past 10 years. Yeah. But, but before that, I mean, they were almost nowhere to be found. Dude. Right, if you told somebody like, oh, I want an IPA or an India Pale, people would have been like, we got Bud Light. Yeah, like, dude. So that's why, I mean, when they first started, they were even, it, I mean, it's, it's almost like an acquired taste. You have to really like get used to them. And um, I mean, I prefer even like a lighter beer. I mean, they're not as heavy as like a wheat beer. Right. Uh, yeah, so I just, I mean, Either you like them or you don't. I like them. Right. It's it's true. Either you're an IPA guy or yeah. you know there's there's spectrums of beer. Yeah. So and now this is still kind of almost a pale ale because it's called not quite a pale ale and Magic Hat number nine. So I'm gonna try my choice now. Have you ever had this? This is actually my first time trying it. Like I've never ever tried it. Wow. Well, you're in for a treat. It's a cool bottle. It is a cool bottle. This one right here. Yeah, so you can even look, it's like a little little bit darker, but still similar in color to the Stone IPA. Cheers, huh? Drinking beers. Oh, that's nice too. Yeah, see that? that this is my jam. That, that's very nice. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I, might be, I might convert. You dude. might switch over. Wow. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go for another one, dude. Like you get, you get a bunch of fruit on it, and then there's not so much of that dry aftertaste that you get with an IPA sometimes. You don't, the hops don't really come through. Yeah, as much. I think I guess you could say this is more familiar though, dude. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's something that, that I think every guy can drink pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This. I mean, if you're, I'd say, if you're trying to wean yourself onto. IPAs, this might be a good starter yeah, you're right. to work no, your way up to it. Definitely, dude. Because you get a little bit of the hops and a little bit of that, but there's still some some sweetness and some familiar undertones of what probably beers you're used to trying. So this was just the first of many beer tastings we're going to do. Uh, Blake brought a beer that he really enjoyed for us to try, and I brought a beer that I knew Blake never had, so I wanted him to try it. But basically, we want to open it up to you guys and have you guys suggest beers in the comments below. Any beers, yeah. Just just give us a recommendation and we'll do our best to find it. And uh, yeah, we'll try it. Right. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like us on Instagram, at Jens Lounge, hashtag your pictures, hashtag Jens Lounge. And uh, cheers, guys.